I don't remember everything in the timeline, but I remember in 2007, um, I did the Landmark Forum. And this was the first thing that I had did uh, with um, self-awareness anything. So now it's like 15 years since I've done that course. I did the whole curriculum. I did the Landmark Forum, the advanced course, the um, self-expression leadership program, and then the introduction to leadership program. My friend Layla, who I <laughs> mentioned earlier, uh, she's the one who introduced me to it. And I'm bringing up this course for a reason, because although I was belly dancing and that connection to my body was completely helpful, I also had to make sure, because to me they were separate, belly dance and my personal life, they were two separate things. So in my personal life, I had to like get clear on what it is I wanted. And because my life just wasn't working, there's was a bunch of personal stuff happening at the time and all of that stuff. So it just was kind of bleeding into my dance journey and how like, I got frustrated. I didn't want to uh, be putting myself out there. I didn't believe in myself. Like I told you, my self-worth was low. My self-esteem was low. I had body image issues. Like, boom, I didn't really do very much to protect myself in that way or set boundaries, right? So I did this course and it opened my eyes to a lot of things that I did that created my own circumstances. And this may not be the case for every situation or every person, but I wanted to take responsibility for how I showed up in my personal life as well as in dance. So that information from that course and developing how we can start to look at life bled into belly dance. So when I did that work for myself, and I'm not saying you need to do it, I'm just telling you my experience. When I did that work for myself, that's how I started to get the tools to quiet the noise in my head because I didn't wasn't raised that way. Like I come from a very Asian background of like this Eastern values, community um, centered values, which there's pros and cons to every perspective, right? Every approach. But in that, it was much, very much the cost of myself for the other, whether it was a good thing or a bad thing. And so in belly dance, it showed up the same way of, oh, I'm going to diminish the way I dance because should I get too good and someone else next to me doesn't, I can't outshine them. I shit you not. This was, and it sounds like a little egotistical, but it's not at the same way because should I get too good? All it did was minimize the level of confidence that I could cultivate in myself to believe that I was capable of doing something. So all of this small talk that really diminished and minimized who I am started to really come out in belly dance. Why? Because I put myself out there continuously. I did the work, I got the feedback, I put it into play again. And so with that cycle, what ended up happening was I constantly put myself on the spot. I constantly had to minimize the noise and then I had to listen to my body, which meant a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with myself, right? Which we do a lot in dance, but sometimes we do it at through uh, fast paced music. We don't do it to slow music because it causes us to expose our um, emotions, what we know as vulnerability, right? Expose our innards, as I like to call it sometimes, um, to the outside world of when we move slow, people have a chance to criticize. They have a chance to see who, us for who we are. And that means we give ourselves the chance to see ourselves for who we are. So a lot of the time I didn't dance slow until my teacher had asked me. So in doing that process, I had to quiet my, like my surroundings, including inside of my head, really go inside and like feel my body and be okay with I wasn't gonna get it right, I wasn't gonna get it perfect, but I started to believe that I could, that I was capable, because if I looked back, even evidence showed that I was like, yeah, I got that move right. Why? Because I worked on it, because I did the work behind it and I got my teacher's feedback, I incorporated the feedback and I did it. So I studied with Ava for a while and eventually um, I left Ava's troupe, of which I was also co-directing in 2012. And then I started studying on my own. So how I did this was I videotaped, you guys have, if you've followed my videos long enough, you know that I've really advocated for videoing uh, yourself and then watching the videos. So not an easy skill, but definitely one that's cultivatable. So if that's a word. <laughs> so I went through this period of time of where I was like, I don't have a mentor right now. Um, I need to be my own mentor for a little bit. 
right? Of course, I highly recommend you have an ongoing coach and all of that stuff. But at the time, I really felt I needed to be with me. So I videotaped, I watched my own video, I parsed my dancing apart, incorporated my feedback, and then did that shit over and over again. And I accelerated my progress. And it's not because I took, it's not only because I took the action to do that, but at that point, I had been working on believing in myself enough to be with myself and getting in my body, in my skin, feeling like I was worth it, knowing that I had worth, right? Believing that my self-esteem was important to focus on, that I could now look at a video, not always tear myself down by, that was shitty, Samantha, what the fuck was happening in that video, but really take it from this detached perspective of what worked, what didn't work, what was missing. Even though that seems like it's a little bit distance, what that did was it helped me connect with myself in a way of, I constantly practice the skill of connecting to my mindset of, I believe that I am capable and I can do this. And in doing that, that's how I was able to actually detach, look at the dancer on the film and say, hey, I need to um, see what's working and what's not working in this video and then put into place what needed to have happen. So, okay, this is me talking a lot. So, I love tea, even though this mug says mama needs coffee. Right now it's drinking tea. Okay, so through this whole journey of me really cultivating it, what it first took was a little bit of just action and being really uncomfortable. Being really, really uncomfortable and still taking action it connected me to myself a lot because I was sick and tired of that previous feeling of I'm lessening myself, I'm diminishing myself away, and eventually I just won't exist anymore if you do it long enough, right? Or you'll feel like you won't exist, or in other words, you feel like you won't matter, or feel like things won't matter. I was tired of that. So belly dance came into my life in a wonderful way because I had gone through things personally. I worked on that with the self-development and stuff. But what it did is it gave me a platform to really practice all of those things in order to cultivate that connection. And as I cultivated being with myself, I realized I'm, I'm like, I'm not half bad, like I'm a human, <laughs> like I'm pretty fucking amazing. So it, that in and of itself, was the cycle that gave me the confidence to just be me. And many of you have given me the feedback, you're so real, you're so genuine, you're so authentic. It's because I practiced being that way. It didn't happen overnight. If I, like, I mean, this was 15, like 21 years ago I started this process. And I'm not saying it'll take you that long, but for me to get to this point, I've practiced being myself a lot. Because in the end, I was so tired of people pleasing that I was like, fuck it, I wanna be myself. And in doing that, I allowed myself to have conversations with me that were intimate, that were meaningful to me, and that in doing those conversations, I used belly dance as the platform to do it. So I danced more, I videoed everything, not just the end result of my practice, the entire process of my practice. I videoed the entire thing, I watched it. I would perform for just myself, right? And then when I got to, the, I asked my husband to coach me and ask like, what do I need? What do I need in this? What's missing? How do you feel? Give me your feedback. Because he doesn't know anything about belly dance from, besides what I've told him. And even through practicing all of this, I took workshops. I took private lessons like crazy. So that way I could still get as many people's perspective on what I needed to adjust in my dancing so I could really put that feedback in. But not only did it give me the practice of putting in that feedback, what it gave me the practice of was listening to that feedback and being okay with getting feedback, right? So, and then not making it this huge shit show of a thing of like, I suck at dancing and every time I have a mental breakdown, but because I wasn't about that, I asked this teacher for their perspective and then I was willing to hear it. I can't tell you how long it took me to get to that part without really beating myself up. So as I built this process and like this connection and this love for my body 
and how it could move, it gave me the confidence to keep doing it. That's really important. I practiced and it gave me the confidence to keep doing it because it became a skill. It became something that was wrote and on repeat after a while. And that's why nowadays I'm like, tell me your feedback. I want to hear it because it, didn't mean, it doesn't mean anything against me. I don't need everyone to like my dancing. I need to like my dancing first. I need to feel connected to my body first. So that way when people make these dumbass comments off the cuff, I don't let it influence the way I want to show up in my belly dance. Yeah, so I, this is a very long-winded conversation, but I felt like this is really important. So, you know, even, you remember that, so I was like, oh my God, and like trying to recall the story, what I really remembered, it was so interesting. Or I was telling you, sorry, I like lost track because I'm thinking about this. So remember when I told you in the very beginning of this video that I remembered a story um, that had come up in prepping for like just mentally how I wanted to share things with you? the story came up I was I danced through both of my pregnancies I was medically cleared uh, and okay to do so and during the pregnancy we had a performance I was pregnant the first time and I was still dancing with Ava and we had performed at um, Tepe Center for the Arts which is a beautiful theater here I was pregnant I was obviously pregnant remember that body like stuff I told you I have image I even asked her do I just do I look just really fat? Do you think people can tell that I'm pregnant? Seriously? Seriously? I can't even remember the timing of the performance, but I was like very evidently pregnant. My pelvis was tilted out. There was this that particular rounding that you have of your belly because I was already fat beforehand, and then I got fatter. I got over 200 pounds in this pregnancy, so everything on my body was it made me really, really insecure during that time. And she looked at me, she was like, people can tell that you're pregnant. It was, for her, it was like, are you, are you serious right now? Did you just ask that question? But for me in my head, it seemed like it was something that could be confused. And so I was like, I need to make sure that I don't look fat and I look pregnant. You see, like all the, <laughs> I don't know if any of you relate to this out here. Anyway, this video is getting um, a little long, so I apologize about that. But the point is, I want you to take away is that I kept with it and I used belly dance and I got connected to my body by using belly dance because I showed up, I did the work, I practiced, and I kept telling myself that I can do it. And I kept telling myself that you're capable. And I kept telling myself, even when I didn't believe in me and other people did, they told me that for a reason. And I trust this person, maybe I should believe them, right? Maybe I should believe them. So as you go through your own process, quiet the noise. It's all about letting go of shit so you can get where you wanna go, really. It's not about adding more, it's about quieting, it's about letting go of certain things. So quiet the noise around you, allow yourself to be with yourself, allow, especially when you're practicing, it can get really, really, I need to do this, 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 this. No, it's okay to focus on one thing. And through that practicing of you just being with yourself and going slowly and allowing yourself to mess up and doing all those things, you will find the connection between you and your body. And through that practicing and really exercising that muscle, you get really confident because you're gaining that skill, you're practicing showing up, you're practicing when people say things that you don't necessarily want to hear. You practice working through it and knowing on the other side of it is gonna be okay. So there's so many things that we get through in doing this. And you get to enjoy the simple fact that you get to move your body to this beautiful art form and feel alive and feel being with your body and being connected to it in the moment with the music and just allowing yourself to be free and then go on with your everyday life in addition to doing these things, right? So it's like this beautiful combination of being yourself, showing up for yourself in the dance and practicing this skill. So I hope this was helpful. I don't know if you can relate to my story or not. If anything, take away 
the to-do list of what to do, right? But I think a lot of us out there, I've gone through multiple pregnancies. I was overweight before I even found belly dance um, and did this, and my weight just fluctuated, fluctuated like 60 pounds up, 60 pounds down, 60 pounds up, 60 pounds down, and all of this stuff. And so, like, whether you're a mom, you're already a dancer, you're just this, what we consider this everyday woman, right? Or you're just a person out there wanting to be connected with your body and being okay with who you are in the world, like belly dance is a wonderful way to do that. And so if you have any questions, just reach out to me, comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this talk. And um, I just appreciate you all listening to my journey. And I hope that this is helpful or supports at least one of you to just love yourself and try belly dancing and see how it can show up for you. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Mwah.